Hey everybody, welcome back to Kobo Space Program 2. It has been a while. If you guys might have noticed, I've taken a bit of a break to, you know, some mental issues, but it has been sorted out, hopefully. And now we are going to jump right back into Kobo Space Program 2. Thank you so much for all of the great comments and things you guys have left me in the previous videos. I do appreciate them. Keep them coming. Make sure to like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Now let's go ahead into single player and as we can see, uh, let's go ahead and delete this one how do we uh, there we go delete yes okay so all of the campaigns and things we've done in the previous times has been deleted let's go ahead and start a new campaign and they've added in exploration so this means we're gonna go and get science unlock parts and like a whole technology tree and all that kind of jazz so yeah uh yeah but let's go ahead campaign name let's keep it default and let's call ourselves space Mon space monkey Space Monkeys. Let's go ahead and start. Alright, here we go. Page. I missed you so much. Let's go ahead and say... Yeah, okay, I, I know all of these things. Thank you. Uh, I wonder if there is... In the settings... Gameplay... To Tooltips off. Thanks. Okay. So, uh, everything looks sort of the same. That's the training center. R&D... I could have sworn I switched that off. But anyways, as we can see, over here is the tech tree, which is really, really cool. Uh, starting rocketry. All these things. Uh, I'm not sure, like, we need science uh, to unlock these. Like, we get some research points as we go. And then we will eventually end up to over here, I think. Yeah, tier 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, so, yeah. The way we get science is by using space modules or science modules on our spaceships. So let's go ahead and uh, get out of here. Uh, I think over here. And let's go to mission control. Yes, uh, we all see these things. So it says over here, launch a rocket. Time to launch a... What? Time to launch the Kerbal Space Program inaugural vessel, a fully functional rocket. Launch a rocket from the Kerbin and achieve an altitude of a, of a what, 10 kilo, kilometers. And the reward is 25 science. Okay. Oh, mission brief. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Um, so I think we are... We do have this. So we can just go ahead to the VAB. Nice buttons down here. And we are back into our... Oh, man, I missed this so much. Okay, yes, I know, I know. Uh, so first of all, we want to go into space. Well, well not space, but about 10 kilometers. Um, so we are going to... That, that, this, that. We are going to separate these and we're going to use a stack decoupler with a parachute, which is over here, on there. Boom. Okay. So, let's go ahead with our staging. There. And there. Okay, so we're going to launch. Then we're going to separate and then we're going to deploy our parachutes. I think that is good. I don't think there's probes or anything in the beginning. We just, we're going to use a tin can over here. And, uh, yeah. So, over here, I think we can choose. Bill Kerman is going to fly today. And let's see, thrust weight is insane. That is really, really powerful. Let's go ahead and just bring it down just a scooch. Uh, 1.6 should be fine. This is a little bit more. About 1.3. Yeah, that's it. That's what we want. Okay, let's go to the, uh, the launch pad. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Paige. Please, please, I know. I know. All right. I don't know how f high or how far we're going to get, but uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Over here, we have a new button, which is a little science beaker or flask or whatever. And uh, perform science experiments here to earn new research points. Um, some experiments must be run by a Kerbal on EVA. Okay, so I think if we do this, yeah, I know what this is. Um, and now, 
Science. Okay, run surface in invalid research location. Okay. Run observation. Okay, I don't know. Um, go ahead and board. So that's done. I don't. I, I, this is the very first time I'm gonna. I'm doing science. So let's go ahead and launch and see what we get. I wonder if we can keep this open. Okay. Uh, just launch. Okay, and then we are going to start turning soon oh man i missed this about 60 to 80 and i'm just gonna start just ever so slightly tipping this way uh i think we keep this what happens if we transmit okay time to do this okay. and then we do this okay that is actually eating up a lot of battery okay out of electrical charge so we're gonna deploy our parachute and there we go now we're just waiting to drop down I don't think we reached high enough because I think we only got to about seven kilometers. So we'll just have to try this again. And we have splashed down. All safe and secured. Okay, I think we can run another science experiment. Yeah, there we go. So crew observation, that's the, the ones we got. I wonder, can we get out and ask you to run okay doesn't look like i can do that i think we have to physically swim around or something but i'm not gonna do that we're gonna board and then uh oops not that we are going to say recover vessel okay there we go and we got eight research points nice okay now let us jump to Mission control. Okay, so we did not complete this yet because we only reached, I think, about seven kilometers. We need to go 10. So we're going to take the same vehicle and add just a little bit more fuel to it. Okay, so we are going to say the 10 can. We're going to grab this and this one. And then the engine again. We're going to detach, attach, reattach. And we're going to do this. And I think uh, a few of these guys. Like four of them. That should be fine. It will just help us keep stable. Uh, let's go ahead and just fix our stagens. Uh, parachute should be first. And then separation. So we're going to launch, then separate, and then parachute. Good stuffs. Okay. I think we are good to go. Before we do that, let's quickly just check out how... Okay, thrust weight. Let's just go ahead and bring this down to about that. This. Yeah, that should be fine. 1.4 is a bit powerful, but it's doable. Uh, let's go ahead and launch. Okay, and let's launch. There we go. And I'm just going to start tilting just a little bit. As we must revert this. I don't think we're going to... <laughs> nah. I, I turned too quickly. Let's go ahead and just revert to launch. And try this again. And already we are going much higher. As we can see our apoapsis is about 7 kilometers now. And we only got used half our fuel. So we should be able to... Yeah, yeah, there we go. We are going to reach 10k. 
Yeah. And we are out of fuel. Let's go ahead and point the other way. Detach. We. And there we go. That thing is going to fly away and come back down. I think if we look at our map, we can see over here. Yes, I know. I know this is the map. Thank you. Thank you. Boy. Uh, so, yeah, our apparatus is going to be up there. And then we're going to start descending, which is lovely. Okay. If I say this. Okay, so we are going to point to... Uh, Retrograde, not prograde, retrograde, that our butt end, this end, keeps pointing towards the, uh, into the wind. We haven't really left the, uh, atmosphere at all, because, like, I think 70,000 meters is where we leave the atmosphere. Uh, I don't think we need a heat shield yet, but we should be fine-ish as we come down. Uh, okay, to be honest, this is a quite, quite a bit high. Look, there's the man. But we should be fine. We should be fine. Okay, well, let's just wait for the, uh... The, the, uh, descent. I just want to check something. Uh, shoot safety. Are we sure that it's safe? I mean, it's quite high up. Uh, I'll just wait till we get, like, a little bit closer to the ground before I deploy it. Otherwise, it might just snap off. So, uh... Yeah, see you guys at the splashdown. Alright, 30 minutes to go before we splash down. It has been a huge success. And there we go. Active vessel is recoverable. Let's go ahead and recover it. Yes. Okay, close and now let's go to R&D. Research and development. Yeah. Okay, so we have 12 science points, which is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and I think we're ready. Yeah, so that's research. Let's go ahead and research this as well. Okay. Now this introduces solid SFBs, environment science, uh, probes, introduction, introductory construction, and aerodynamics and stability. Um, just want to see what is there. Okay, probes would be nice to start doing proby stuff. Uh, ooh, the science junior. I haven't seen that in a while. And then the solid fuels noise. Okay. That, that, that is done. We got ourselves a Reliant, a bigger fuel tank, some decouplers, and a new nose cone. Okay, over here, we have launched a rocket. Let's go ahead and submit this, and we get 25 science. Gotcha. Okay. Great start. Thank you. Thanks, science. Yes, we have done it. <laughs> All right. And with that, people, thank you so much for joining me here on Kerbal Space Program 2. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. Stay tuned for more. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.